Well, while temperatures are definitely above 100 degrees, in some parts of Denver it feels even hotter. And that's a phenomenon experts refer to as a heat island. Denver 7's Brandon Richard shows what the city and nonprofits are doing to make those areas cooler. Well, if you stand under an umbrella, it feels a lot better than if you didn't stand under one. Now that sounds simple enough, but there's actually science behind it. And experts say that same science explains why some parts of Denver are hotter than others. Living in a city can have a lot of benefits, but there are also downsides, especially during heat waves. It's like a dome of heat. Elizabeth Cohen is with Denver's Office of Climate Action, Sustainability and Resiliency. So the city itself is hotter um, than surrounding areas because it's absorbing all the heat. She says that's because Denver has a lot of big buildings and asphalt surfaces like parking lots and streets that absorb heat. And it also makes the city hotter for longer. So at night, the buildings are really hot and the cement is really hot and instead of cooling off really quickly that heat continues. It's a phenomenon scientists refer to as a heat island. This map from scientists at the nonprofit Climate Central shows the heat intensity of different parts of Denver. The area shaded in purple, which is mostly downtown, is a whopping nine degrees hotter because of its environment. One thing that we can do uh, is to to cool off the city by doing things like planting trees. Trees are like magical air conditioners. Working with nonprofits, the city's planted over 1,400 trees, focusing on areas historically underdeveloped. Really, the areas that we're focusing on are um, in North Denver and in West Denver, um, along you know what's historically been that inverted L and the red line areas. Um, in general, those areas have a lot less tree cover. They hope to have 2,100 trees planted by next year, providing some relief during future heat waves. And then Brandon Richard, Denver 7.